Hey, what's good, YouTube? EXO coming at you with a little second channel update here. We've been roaring on EXO Contralto, and we've got more projects on the way. Today, I did lots of filming with Little Blue. And guess what, guys? We are getting louder. The fucking footsteps have already been taken, and look, Little Blue has no subwoofers in there right now. Well, that's because we're going bigger. We got the PSI Platform 5's big 4-inch coil on deck. Of course, we're going to do lots of stuff, uh, the whole formal install video, so it'll take some time. But we got lots to edit tonight. Got at least, I don't know, maybe 20 gigabytes of footage here. We had to prop up our motors. Right here, we got the little bottle jack and some MDF step-offs. We lifted up the back of our sub and then just took it out all by ourselves. Bloom, bloom, bloom. It was pretty easy. And then also, we accidentally found out that we were a little bit irresponsible with our subwoofer, excuse me, our speakers here. I was doing some casual listening the other day and I had my high pass set so low so I could hear a little bit of bass coming through my small speakers. I wasn't using my subwoofers at the time. And when I turned my subwoofers back on the other day, I forgot to fucking turn my high pass back up. So when I was doing full tilt demoing with the chocolate milk and the uh, fucking crazy videos the other day, I accidentally was sending pure bass signal to my fucking mids and highs. And luckily, this is the only one that launched. So I had a little voice coil poking its friggin' turtle head. Poor thing. Completely my fault. Son of a bitch. We got the back here ready for our amp lab goodness. We've got some lithium coming in. Uh, ready for this, we got the JY for our Frankie, and we got the Amp Lab for this. But we pretty much just uh, tightened her up a little bit. We still got the ugly wet cell Megatron up there, and our nasty electrical tape. We're gonna be doing all heat shrink. It's like I've had a revelation now. It's I didn't realize it was so cheap to do heat shrink. But HPL uh, 120 is out of here. The Crescendo battery once was right here, all plugged up. Uh, but we took that out, we took out our Vibe Audio 10K, which we managed to get over 155 decibels sealed up on the dash with it. So that's what's been going on today. It was absolutely beautiful weather. I, I couldn't believe it. It's gotta be, even still, maybe 70 degrees outside. I'm just walking around friggin' without a shirt on, without a care in the world, soaking up the rays. But the garage has been a great source of motivation and inspiration so far. I'm doing more projects, I'm keeping myself more busy and stuff. Uh, Elise will be home in a few hours. We're gonna be doing some leftovers, uh, just cooking some food. And yeah, we're trying to stay as busy as I can. We still have a ported box build for our Drop It Hurts subwoofer. That's gonna be real fun. And I just don't know what to do with it. I only have these two project vehicles, but my girlfriend, she'll park right in front of me when she gets home, so maybe we can convince her to stick some sort of subwoofer in her car. Nothing crazy, I don't wanna break anything because it's a nice vehicle. Like almost, you know, a little bit below 100,000 miles. So there's no reason. There's the Controltos sitting there. We just took them out. It's been, I don't know, maybe three and a half hours so far of work. We recone these ourselves. That's why we have a little bit of mismatch going on. Freaking thanks to UPS crinkling my cone. And then thanks to me for screwing up. So I had to have it the way it's, you know, the way it is right now. It looks a little funny, but they get loud. Put the PSI Platform 5s in there. Oh my God, you guys. Those things are just massive. One of the biggest subs I've ever dealt with, besides, of course, the 21 that we just had fun with the other day. I don't know if you guys watched that video, but over on XO Contralto, we just posted a 21-inch excursion unboxing, just a general, like, overall scope of the subwoofer from B2 is XM21. Gotta check it out, guys. Gotta check it out. Even convinced my, my girlfriend to like put it on her lap. <laughs> that was pretty good. Got the lighting all situated as well up in here. This is just a quick second channel update. That only took a couple seconds, but I just posted that video today. So I hope you would check it out. And uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification ticker on my main channel because sometimes YouTube's freaking flub dubulous and it doesn't let people know when you upload videos. I mean, shit. It's weird to have a hundred, almost 140,000 subscribers, but really only like, I don't know, maybe 5%, less than 5% of the people actually watch the videos. So it's hard to figure out what to do to, to get more of the people who want to see your videos able to see your videos. It, it, it can be a little confusing. So 
Thanks for sticking around. YouTube has changed so much, but EXO has stayed the same. We are still doing the same old car audio stuff. Frankenstein, Little Blue, lots more stuff coming your way, guys. So this is EXO signing out. Ah!